Triggers here, and I thought I'd kickstart my return with a little story. But um, first off, this isn't um, this isn't the most exciting gameplay about. I mean, I'm not really into MW3 as I mentioned in my last video. How I can't play well in the group. This was a mercenary game, I think. But I've gotten better. Second prestige level 26 or something, and I got one day 20 hours played. So. I guess that's alright, I know there's people out there that are probably way better than me but for MW3 I'd say that's pretty good for me so for me to kickstart me coming in back into commentaries properly I thought I'd just do like a series, it'll take up I'm gonna go into detail, it'll take up about 5 videos about this length of how I started gaming I was originally going to do a song, like um, if any of you guys watch Francis Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I was going to do a short song like that, that explained um, everything in about two minutes, but I figured it, it, it would be more fun to do it that way, but then I would run out of things to do for other commentaries, so I thought I might as well do this to like, it would take up at least a month and a bit. I probably want to upload around the week of Christmas and I don't think you guys will be on YouTube around the week of Christmas so I'll leave that week out so it will take me into next year when I'll probably finish it and by then I'll either have, I could do, I might do a Let's Play on the new Resident Evil or Assassin's Creed or something like that and then I'll just think of something that will um, keep you guys interested back into my voice, my Jesus like voice so as you can tell I've still got a cold and um, try to ignore the random sniffs and coughs during the video. So we shall begin. Okay, so started off, I was born November 13th, 1996. Came out dancing like Will Smith on... Yeah, I came out dancing like Will Smith because as you know, I am the darker Will Smith. And as I came out, I catapulted into, across the room into the doctor's hands and he caught me. And from then on, I was destined to be a basketball player. So <laughs> that is um, that is the story for that. But well, I'll, I'll start seriously now. So about when I was seven was when I got my PS2. But it was not the typical ask for it and get. It was when I was seven, I used to go out of my area a lot. And uh, my area was full of gangs and shiz and... I used to hang around with a few people from a gang and we used to do stuff like gangs do. I know I'm not kind of helping the stereotype because I'm black and stuff, but we used to run around, well not run around, but we used to go around doing stuff. Um, oh sorry, we used to run around doing stuff that um, we weren't supposed to do. I think I stole something from a corner shop, stole some kids GameCube. When, not GameCube, I have, no, stole some kid's Game Boy Color and um, stole his Super Mario game and Pokemon game. And um, my mum found out about that, so it was either because I think one of them snaked me out or told on me for you white people, no racism. <laughs> um, but uh, one of them told on me and my mum found out, and it was either I give back the GameCube or go to GV, so. I obviously went to Juvie, that's why I'm here right now. So, um, yeah, so my mum sent me to stay in my house. And also the fact that they also tried to steal my bike after I was allowed out. So that kind of solidified, <laughs> that kind of solidified me staying at home. And that started off my gaming career. So after that, it was like three or four months till it was my birthday. And I wanted a PS2. So obviously I asked for it and I got it. And I think my birthday was on a Friday then. I can remember clearly I got iToy, Crash Bandicoot, Jack 2, J.A.K., pardon me, and Tomb Raider the Age of Darkness. Those were the four games I got and they were I was actually scared of Tomb Raider because when I played it I got to like the third mission and then a the mummy popped out of a closet and I actually shot myself and never played the game again. I haven't even touched the game now because I'm scared I might scare myself. But don't worry, I've grown up, I play Resident Evil, I play, what other scary games are there, Silent Hill, Mr. Miyagi's, um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah, I completed Crash Bandicoot, I completed Jack, I Toy was probably the best game, I used to cheat on it a lot, I know there was a window wiping one, I would just pick up the I Toy sensor and then just like throw it around the room so it would wipe itself, 
and um, <laughs> and that was pretty much how I started gaming from PS2 onwards. So then, I'm looking at my PlayStation collection now. I think I have. I know it's not much, but I think I've got about seventy games. And I know some people that are stacking three hundred. So, to be honest, my amount of games for the PlayStation isn't that incredible. Um, so, I started with the PlayStation, and then moved on to the DS, which was. It's considering the only game I played on it was um, Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I had a massive anime rave from when I was 9 to 13. Yeah, for, no, not 13, 9 to 12. I was a massive anime fan. I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to still watch Beyblade. I used to watch Naruto a lot. Um, there was this program on Jet, it was called Shaman King. I was just a massive anime fan, and I kind of got all the games. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! games, I got like four Naruto games. I don't think there were any Beyblade games. I did look around online for like web browser Beyblade games, but there weren't any. So um, I pretty much did all of that. And then I had the DS. It broke because we went to Kent, I think, and it dropped out the window. I was playing it out the window because it, like, it was a hot day and I liked the breeze. And then it dropped, so we had to stop the car, and then the back bit broke off. So that was the end of my DS. And then um, from then on, I played with a broken screen DS. I still played Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, but I focused on PC gaming. And I started playing this game called Grand Chase. And um, I know probably none of you have heard of it. It is another sort of Japanese anime game. They recently opened up a closed beta server for the EU. And I was going to sign up for that, but I forgot my password. So trying to sort that out so maybe I can play that. I'm not going to record it because you guys probably think I'm weird. Could, just, I'll put a link, if I can be bothered, to the game in the description and you guys can look at it and see what you think. But I played anime for a while. I remember playing it almost four years ago. Wait, 2012 and then 2008. Okay, I remember playing it while the 2008 Olympics were on and I would be watching it and playing it at the same time. So that shows how long ago I did play um, Grand Chase. And then, obviously, two no, in, obviously in two thousand and nine Christmas, I got my Xbox. I made my gamer tag John's a twelve because I was still, um, I was still on the Beyblade rave, and um, I Dranza and Black Dranza, no racism, were my favorite characters from Kai. Oh wow, gameplay's gone quick. I'll just have to remember where I left off. Ah, oh, this is actually fun. I miss doing commentaries a lot. I'm sorry, guys, for leaving you. Remind me never to do it again. But yeah, the gameplay's pretty much over, so I'll continue my story next time. But apart from that, it's been Danex Triggers. Peace.